starting to get really tired of this every single day drama with Jamar Chase and the never ending cycle. Guys, I said this in my video before, but I'll say it again. The reason why Chase is not processing, okay, is not because 100% because of the contract. Yes, there is a level of it that is due to the contract and he wants a new contract. But it's also, if he processes in any form, either last week or today, he would have to speak to the media. Just a little side note there, in case anyone's wondering. There is more than just the simple, well, he's not processing because he doesn't want to get hurt. Because I fully expect him to process tomorrow. Tomorrow is the first actual day of process. Last week and today were just bonus processes before the actual true process begins. So I'm expecting him 1000% to process tomorrow and the rest of this week. As we do have three more processes this week. So I'm expecting him to process. But with that being said... He would have to speak to the media if he would have processed any day last week or today. So I think there's a little bit more into that. Where it's like it's more than just the contract. It's also about the fact speaking to the media. Because let's be honest, the media is going to ask him a billion questions. And it's going to be very annoying for him to have to try to answer all of them. And I think he's trying to avoid that altogether. That's why he's refusing to process other than just a contract. Because at this point, I mean, holding in or refusing to process really isn't going to get you anywhere. Um, you know, they clearly there is a lot of talk that they have ramped up conversation talks about a potential contract. But... I mean, at this point, you're kind of just wasting your time. It's either you're going to play or you're not going to play. Because the reason why he held in during training camp was, one, to get paid, but also, two, to hit his roster bonus. In order to get his roster bonus, he needed to hold in. So, it's a mess. And they asked Zach Taylor about it, and he just said that he's considered it day-to-day -day at this moment in time. Um, he said they're processing whether or not he is available or not for this upcoming game and that they're going to be ready either way. And it sucks that we're still dealing with this drama and back and forth crap. I mean, again, I understand it, right? I think everyone watching this video and in Houday Nation can understand the situation. But it's just like, man, we gotta, we gotta figure something out because... At this point, like, this is becoming a little bit too much of a mess. But, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm surprised Zach Taylor even responds to questions at this point. Because, in reality, he has no say in any of this. Like, really, it's just uh, kind of sucks to be Zach Taylor. Because Zach Taylor just has to sit there and say, nope, don't think it's going to happen. Nope, it might not happen. I don't know. Who knows? Anything could happen, right? Like, literally, Zach Taylor is, is in the worst spot possible because everyone asks him questions. Chase isn't processing, so Chase doesn't get to speak to the media. So the media doesn't get to ask Chase questions. And if Chase would to process any day last week or today, then they would have asked all those questions to Chase. But because Chase is refusing the process, he doesn't have to speak to the media. So all the question now goes to the Bengals uh, players and the head coach. And that's really not fair on any of those guys having to deal with this crap right now because this is not what we're trying to do. You know, we're starting off this season, we play the Patriots. Yeah, that's going to be an easier matchup. Then we get to play the Kansas City Chiefs. Week 5 versus the Ratbirds. Like, we can't afford to continue this stupid drama back and forth like i don't know and i know right now the speculation is and based on what we heard from everyone on social media seems like that this contract is very close to being done uh espn talked about yesterday i know ian rapport actually came out and I think Ian Rapport Adam Schefter came out and tried to denounce that and was like, oh no, this is this contract's not done yet. It's apparently close to being done. It's going to be done and released on Thursday. That's the speculation right now. Again, even if the contract is almost done, 
I don't know if Chase would have processed today anyway, as in today was a bonus process, not the first start of the process for the game week. So again, like I said, there's just so many questions and the sad part is none of us have any answers. And the sad part is this, this is how messed up it is. Even Zach Taylor doesn't have the answers. Like if you think about it, like nobody knows, even Zach Taylor doesn't know. Now, obviously he knows behind the scenes a little bit better than any of us do, but it's very much of a, you know, nobody really knows anything. Anyway, kind of continuing on to this saga, that is a positive note. Zach Taylor says Dax Hill will be the start at corner. So it'll be him and Cam Taylor Britt as CB1, CB2. Uh, Trent Brown will start right tackle and the season opener. Amarius Mims did practice today. Uh, he was in his uniform, so that was a really positive note. Uh, but at this moment in time, he says um, we want to see if he can get through the week before we declare whether or not he's going to play on Sunday. Uh, we'll have to wait and see on that one. But at the end of the day, it is what it is when it comes to all this crap. I'm, I think I can speak for everyone now. We're just tired of it, man. We're just really tired of it. Like, the season is kicking off, and I'm ready, I'm excited, I'm pipe, hyped up, and it's just like, this is like a Debbie Downer of, like, non-stop drama. Like, bro, we're ready for football. We're not ready for, you know, self-destruction of ourselves at this point, and it seems like this is just self-destruction. Like, you know, get this contract done with, get this crap over with, and let's get to the season. We got a Super Bowl to win. We don't got time to sit here and act like a teenage, like a freaking uh, high school drama club. Like this, this is real crap right now. We need to get this crap done with. And if you're not going to pay him, done. If you're going to pay him, pay him. You know, that's just how this works. So tell me down below your thoughts, opinions. See you guys next one.